Have you visited our latest play activation, Light Years? Light Years is all about light. What is light? Stars light up. I love watching the stars twinkle in the sky. But how do they light up? Do you know? I have an idea. Let's ask our good friend Harry from Space Place. Kia Harry! Do you know much about stars? Kia ora, I love the stars. My name is Harry. I am Goshanu, and I'm the senior science communicator here at Space Place. And it's because when I was six years old, I learned about the stars and how wonderful they are. I fell in love with them, and that's the reason why I am here today with you. Ah. Oh. Are all stars the same? Well, stars are different, just like people. They have different heights and different colors, but they're not too different, also just like people. So when you see a person, you immediately know it is one. When you see a star, you immediately know it is a star. They can be really big stars like Betelgeuse, this one here, or Antares, even bigger, or they can be really, really tiny stars, like our sun. This is our sun, and it's really small, as the size of a speck. And look at the sun, how tiny it is in here, and look how big these stars is. But guess what? The smallest stars are just like the sun looks to Antares and this one here, Betelgeuse, so they're really, really small. And these two of them we have very close. One of them is called Proxima Centauri and the other one is Barnard Star. So they have different colors. And because they're so, so far away, we need telescopes to measure how big they are. But if you go outside at night and you look up at the night sky, you can see that the stars have different colors. That's awesome! Harry, why do stars twinkle? Well, stars are giant balls of heated gas and they're really, really big. But because they're so far away, we can see a tiny, tiny little dot. So here on Earth, we're surrounded by an invisible blanket of air and water vapor. Sometimes you can see the water when your mom is cooking soup and the water vapor comes out of the soup and goes up into the sky as steam. And also we can see water as the clouds when we look up into the sky. The air is always moving. Cold air wants to go down and hot air wants to go up. Up and down, up and down. That's what the air is doing all the time out there in the sky. The light from the stars, when it comes towards our eyes here on Earth, just bounces off these moving layers, and that's why the light twinkles. And it is like when you go swimming, and have you ever put your hand in the water, and your hand went a little bit bouncy and had a weird shape? That's exactly the same thing that happens to the light from the stars. So next time, you go swimming and you put your hands in the water and they're twisty and wobbly. Think about why the stars twinkle. How bright are the stars? That is a very good question. Stars are really, really big. So how bright they are depends how close you are to them or how far away. Also, how big the star is. But the stars that we see at nighttime in the sky, they're at different distances in space. And we call that a very good word. We call it magnitude. It is how we measure the stars in the sky. Can you guys say magnitude? It means how big and bright the stars are in the sky as we see them from here from Earth. What is a light year? A light year is the distance that light travels in a year. And light is the thing that travels the fastest in the universe. It travels 300,000 kilometers per second. What does that even mean? 
Well, if you ever been to Auckland, from Wellington to Auckland is about 640 kilometers. And in a light year, the light travels nine and a half trillion kilometers. That is 12 zeros after the nine. This is how far away it is. It is very, very far. Thanks, Harry. I've learned a lot about stars today. We hope to see you pop by capital E and interact with our new play space, which features star caves, glow tables, and rainbows. Car kisses, see you soon.